them how are you mm. and then give them a breakfast mm. or simple gesture like that simple action like that will increase the relationship will increase the self confidence and uh, relationship between boss and subordinate okay you take off you do a proper training you do a proper coaching okay simple gesture simple action A simple thing like smiling, greeting, good morning. Sometimes we improve the motivation of your staff. Some, and communication is very important. You need to communicate with your staff. Don't let your staff do assumption. Don't let your staff uh, do not know how to perform job. You mm-hmm. as a boss need to know how to perform job. Then you can be able to uh, design the specific job to your staff. So mm. that's very important. Okay. Okay. So communication is key. Yep. Okay. Another comment. Your topic is very useful to library managers, especially those who are encountering challenges under a work from home setup. So yep. during this time of pandemic. Yes, I agree. Okay. So I don't see any more questions. Okay. Uh, you can just, you know, write your comments there if you want. Uh, Dr. Faisal can see them and probably he can reply to you. <laughs> okay, so at this point, we would like to award our Certificate of Appreciation to you, Dr. Faisal. And the certificate reads, National Library of the Philippines in partnership with ASEAN Public Libraries and Information Network uh, and in collaboration with the Philippine Librarians Association Incorporated, Librarians Association of Malaysia and the Asia Foundation present this, of, this certificate of appreciation to Dr. Maud Faisal Hamsa for being the resource speaker in the first ASEAN Virtual Regional Conference of Public Librarians given this 24th day of August 2021 via Zoom signed by the Director of the National Library of the Philippines, Cesar Gilbert Q. Adriano and the President of Aplin Juan Maslibin Juan Razali. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Faisal. Okay, thank you also to all our participants who joined us in this first part of our parallel session this afternoon. So at this point, let us hear from our silver sponsor, Electronic Information Solutions Incorporated. So let's watch their video. Okay, well, they are doing that. (laughs) Well, they are uh, getting or accessing the presentation of our silver sponsor, Electronic Information Solutions. Uh, for those uh, participants who would like to change meeting room, so you are in meeting room number three. If you want to change uh, meeting room, so you can either choose meeting room one or meeting room two, you just need to click the breakout room button in the lower right portion of the Zoom. And you can just click the link of the breakout room that you would like to join in. Okay. So there... There's our presentation. Oh, there's no sound. To our tech team, we can't hear a sound. Okay, let's try that again from our silver sponsor, Electronic Information Solutions. Recording stopped. Recording in progress. Okay, while waiting for the presentation or the video of our sponsor. To our participants, if you would like to change your breakout room, so you can do so by clicking on the breakout room button in the lower right hand and choose the breakout room that you would like to join in. Okay, so here's your presentation.
All right. Thank you so much to our silver sponsor that is Electronic Information Solutions Incorporated. Okay, so let us now proceed to our second parallel session speaker. Richelle I. Pahara is currently working at the provincial government of Misamis Oriental as the library head in the Misamis Oriental Provincial Library. She received her BLIS degree in Liceo de Cagayan University with honors and received a gold medal as Best Practicumer Awardee. After that, she decided to take professional education and became a licensed professional teacher major in English. She graduated her master's degree in Master's of Art in Library and Information Science from Lourdes College. She is one of the innovators in the Network of Emerging Filipino Library Innovators, or NEFLI Cohort 2, a three-year leadership training program for public librarians in the country adopted from one of the global libraries initiatives. She is also one of the prominent Tech for Ed Center managers in partnership with the Department of Income. Information and Communication Technology, or DICT. Aside from that, Ms. Pahara loves teaching. She personally teaches the children and having fun with them in every session. To talk about service quality of public libraries as determinant of the satisfaction of users' information needs, we have Richelle Pahara. Thank you very much. Can you hear me, Matt? Uh, I can hear, but it's not as loud. Okay. How about that, Mom Ray? Uh, it's still it's still the same still. though, but I'm not sure if it's from my end only. Can our participants hear Miss Pahara well, or it's not as loud too? Hello, good afternoon. Okay. okay, not pretty clear like what they said, not as loud also. Okay. They, they want your voice to be louder. I'm not sure if removing okay. the earphones will... Okay. I'll just make my voice um, louder. Yeah, it's... Uh, I think it's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's a niche louder, but um, can we try removing sure. your earphones? Or just Hello. using the microphone of the of the laptop or the computer? Hello? Yeah, and I think it's better. Okay. Maybe we can... Uh, can you hear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. We can hear you. So we'll just increase our volume setting. <laughs> oh, I cannot hear you now. <laughs> I'm sorry. For a moment, Ma'am Maria, I'll then okay. change you. All right. Okay, so while uh, we are waiting for Michelle to probably look for other earphones or improve his her connection or her audio quality... Uh, if you have questions again, please don't hesitate to, you know, just type them in the chat box. Or if you want to personally ask the question to the speaker, you can just use the raise hand button in Zoom. Okay, so uh, so we'll have, I'm glad that, um, oh, we are 159 in this breakout room. Okay. So how are you all? <laughs> okay, so Richelle is starting her computer, restarting her computer. Okay, so she has to restart. Okay, for the meantime, some announcements. Don't forget to fill out the attendance sheet. Again, there are two attendance sheets for today. Actually, daily we have two attendance sheets, one for one for the morning session and one for the PM session. And at the end of the session, don't forget as well to answer the evaluation forms, one by NLP and one by the NCCA. Okay? Uh, so don't forget that for you to qualify in the raffle also. So we'll have a raffle draw again tomorrow during lunchtime. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Um, there's a question here. Are we going to follow the same setup tomorrow? Yes. Uh, I think in the morning, we have another parallel session. So um, you can just click the link or the breakout room that you would like to join in. So it's the same. I think in the morning, we have parallel session. And then in the afternoon, we'll have the closing ceremonies. Uh, okay, to our tech team, I think there is uh, one person who needs help in transferring her to another breakout room. Okay, how can I join to room one? Okay, there should be a breakout room button on the lower right hand of Zoom. And if you click that, you can choose a particular breakout room. Okay, so that's how you access it. Okay, we are also live via the Facebook page of uh, ASEAN BCRPL. Okay, um, don't worry to those who are asking how can they transfer to another breakout room. The tech team will help you. But you should see in your Zoom account, you should see on the lower right hand a breakout room button. So when you click it, you can just choose the breakout room which you want to join in. Okay, we're just waiting for Rochelle because she restarted her computer. Okay, do you have questions? Our dear participants, 165. We are 165 here in breakout room one. Hi, good afternoon also, John, Philip, and Dam. Okay, we're just waiting for Rochelle to join. Okay, good afternoon also, Maricel Veloria. Uh, from Cesar Falcolan, oh, just want to clarify, when are we going to receive copies of slides? I think you should receive them on or before August 25. So that's tomorrow, right? But um, let's see. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll ask the organizing team. Okay. All right. Uh, can we request both for a recorded video of the breakout sessions we attended? I think if you check the page of the ASEAN BRCPL, since we went live and we are streaming there, you can rewatch the videos there. Okay, is Rochelle here? Okay, she's not yet here. You know, that's uh, one of the realities of the setup that we have now. No. There would be technical problems. Okay, but I believe we still have time. Okay, do you have questions to our dear participants? Okay. I hope all of you are able to fill out the attendance sheet already for the PM session. Okay, the link is the link is posted here in our chat chat box. Okay, according to Cesar, I'm looking forward to the next conference of this kind already. Oh, that's, that's nice to hear, Cesar. Um, Aplin and the National Library of the Philippines, they want another conference. <laughs> good luck. Okay, good afternoon also, Jenny Sila. Okay, Necklin Galinato. So she came from... Meeting room one, now she's in room three. Okay, um, is Rochelle here? Our tech team, is Rochelle here?
Okay, not yet. Okay, so uh, while waiting for Richelle, and Riza, is Richelle here already? I can't uh, see her yet. Wala pa po, ma'am. Okay, it's not yet here. Okay, if she's not yet here, I'm thinking maybe uh, Puna pa? Okay, can, is it okay for you to present or you would rather present later? <laughs> Hello? Mabuhay. Hi. Mabuhay, Puna pa. Oh, <laughs> I think I, I, I can present mm -hmm. um, instead of her and when she's ready, she can yeah. continue after me. Okay, so is, is it all right? For, yeah. for okay, so that would be great. So let's have uh, Punapa first, our third uh, plenary, I'm sorry, parallel session speaker for meeting room three. I think Rishal is having a bit of difficulty. Okay, so I hope later on she'll be ready. Okay, so let's go first. So we'll just uh, have Punapa first and then our last plenary presenter would be Rishal. Okay, so um, here, our uh, next speaker is Punapa Suksakorn. She's a professional librarian, head of ISBN, ISSN, and Press Act Division Information Resources Services Group, National Library of Thailand. She promoted and organized the program of ISBN, ISSN, and Press Act Conference in Thailand 2020, and User's Guide for ISBN, ISSN, and Press Act Service of the National Library of Thailand, Thailand in English versions. She was a librarian for foreign affairs at Library Research and Development Group of the National Library of Thailand, from 2013 to 2019. She graduated a master's degree in library and information science, faculty of humanity, Ram Kam Heng University, Bangkok in 2017. At present, she gained more education at Law School of Sukhothai Tamathirat University in Bangkok. She is a member of ASEAN Public Libraries Information Network, National Library of the Philippines, as Vice President of APLIN. During 2000, from 2016 to 2018, she was an innovator as a leader at the Collaborative Project Team, the International Network of Emerging Library and Innovators, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or INELI ASEAN. She was a coordinator of the second convening of the Network of Emerging Filipino Library Innovators, or NEFLI program, with cooperation between National Library of the Philippines. Invited by the National Library of Thailand to co-host the second convening last July 23-26, 2019. She was a working committee for CONSAL, 16th, the first and third executive board meeting of Consul from 2013 to 2015. Everyone to talk about Library Portal, an assessment of library advocacy practices for regional cooperation. We have Punpa Soksakorn. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon from Bangkok, Thailand. Um, uh, Mabuhai, Philippines, dear all colleagues and friends of Applin, INLE, ASEAN, and NEFLI, and um, all participants and colleagues from the, the other library attend to the, the meeting and the conference. So um, it is my great honor to be here for the resource speaker for the first ASEAN virtual regional conference uh, of public librarians. Today, I would like to present um, the topic of the library portal, the, an assessment of the library advocacy practices for the regional corporations. So I would like to um, share our presentation. Just a moment, please. Okay.
Okay. Uh, this is uh, our presentation for the library portal and assessment of the library advocacy practices for the regional cooperation. Um, today, my topic will be divided into three parts. First uh, is the National Library of Thailand portal. Uh, the second is the library, uh, public library in Thailand information. And the third, the regional corporations. So I would like to start from the National Library of Thailand portal. Uh, I would like to introduce about our library. Uh, the National Library of Thailand is under the Fine Arts Department, the Ministry of Culture. The library um, implemented the government policy to promote the cultural heritage collection, national imprint collections, educational provision, and lifelong learning and the master plan of the reading culture of Thai learning society. Uh, this is the photo of the National Library of Thailand Presley. And this is the, the function of the National Library of Thailand. Uh, there are five main functions of the National Library of Thailand. First, the National Bibliography Agency in Thailand. The second, the depository of the publications in Thailand. The third, the reference library service. And the fourth is the, about the RIGO, the National Library of Thailand responsible of the term of Press Act of 2007. And the last, uh, the main function is the center of ISBN, ISSN, and CIP in Thailand. Okay, for the next presentation, uh, this is, uh, I would like to talk about the National E-Library. National E-Library is the collaborate with the Prime Minister Office, um, the Ministry of Education, the National Library of Thailand, and the Digital Government Development Agency. This is a public organization to collaborate, uh, establish the National e-Library. The projects aim to collect a variable of Thai government publications in electronic files, such as the PDF and the EPUB or RTF file. And more is for the instructional media and teaching media and make the digital educational resources available for Thai citizens to empower, inspire, and encourage the learning. And this is the one of the projects for the Digital Library Portal. The Digital Library Portal of the National Library of Thailand, we call the library. The D library um, collect the, the digital collection and databases. Uh, the co total collection is more than 300,000 items online. We provide a collection of the Fine Arts Department. This is the, okay. We provide the, the collection of the Fine Arts Department, um, the variable photos, the full text contents of Thai literatures, manuscripts, Thai traditional books, and also the, uh, this is another, okay. For the single search, uh, e-books, e-newspaper, um, online um, application and national library application, which can be accessed on uh, iOS, Android, and Windows. So, and moreover, we provide a co-working space and meeting room and the universal or use uh, uh, the friendly design for the disabled people also. This is the portal of the, the, digital, the digital project of the National Library of Thailand. You can access from the website of the National Library of Thailand. I'll be show you later on. Okay, this is the, 
application that we have, the NLT library application to ebooks, uh, CU ebook store, e newspaper for the Press Act databases, NLT video on demand, and the Fine Arts Digital Center. This is all the e resources from the National Library uh, web portal. And then, um, this is the, the website of the ISBN and ISSN and Press Act service. The National Library of Thailand developed an online or electronic service for the national registration for ISBN, ISSN, and Press Act. And moreover, we service for the catalog in publication through uh, this website. And it is, um, the Press Act is about the regal to control the publication in Thailand. After uh, you uh, publish the publication in Thailand, you need to assign for ISBN and send to National Library two copies. This is the Press Act implementation in Thailand. Uh, this is a website, and this is the example of ISBN and newspaper in Thailand. And on your right-hand side, this is the, the Press Act um, authorization for the, the, the newspaper and the journal in Thailand. And the next, uh, I would like to introduce our Facebook of the National Library of Thailand. We, uh, we, we use the username of National Library of Thailand. On the Facebook of our library, we uh, upload the activity of the National Library, everyday upload and uh, more, I mean, uh, the reading promotion of the National Library of Thailand during COVID-19 pandemic. You can access or you can follow us. Yes, please follow us. Thank you. Okay, next. Uh, I would like to, to give you information about National Library of Thailand branches. Uh, more, than, more than Bangkok, we, ha we also have the National Library of Thailand branches, totally 11 branches uh, in the northern, southern, western, northeastern of Thailand. They are under the Fine Arts Department, and they provide the publication, um, the, the normal publication, and also collect the um, cultural or the regional of the cultural heritage and publication of the regional too. Okay, this is the National Library of Thailand branches. It's not the public library. We are different, and we are uh, different specific of the libraries. This is an example of the National Library in uh, the regional. Okay. And the next, uh, I would like to introduce about briefly about the public library in Thailand. The public library in Thailand uh, are under the supervision of many organizations, such as the Office of the Non-Formal uh, Education Commission, of the Ministry of Education and the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, the Department of the Local Administration. And this is the Office of Knowledge Management and Development. This is a public organization. As you can see, the public library in Thailand are under the government and under the public organization, but some under the private section too. I will show you an example of the public libraries in Thailand. Okay, this is the example of the public library in Thailand. Um, the Pattaya City Public Library. This is the greenery and the library near the beach. And Ubon Rajatani Public Library. It is the Northeastern Public Library of Thailand. Um, on the bottom, on the right, this is the public library of Lai province, the northern of Thailand too. This is the modern and decoration is the new uh, library function. And the next, um, this is the Bangkok City Library. These are under the Bangkok 
Metropolitan Administration. On uh, in in 2019, during the co-host of the second convening of the NEFLI, uh, if you are the NEFLI, you visit to Thailand. Uh, we take you to visit the educational tour at the Bangkok City Library. This is one of the famous uh, city library in Bangkok and the biggest one too. It's the modern design and um, modern publication and they have a co cooperate with the National Library of Thailand too about the rare book collection. We, we have a collection with them. We provide uh, the same collection for the Bangkok City Library. Okay, the next, uh, the public library in Thailand. This is the PK Park. This is the modern one uh, that I told you before. These are under the private organization. We call PK Park in the Phuket, southern of Bangkok, and Hat Yai Knowledge Park, and Lampang LK Park. This is northern a uh, public library in Thailand is quite modern and um, very beautiful library for uh, provincial users. And next, um, for the regional corporations, I would like to share the experience that we have regional corporation um, for me to you. Firstly, I attended the NEF uh, INLE ASEAN. During three years of INLE ASEAN, I have a big family with the friends and um, friendships, librarianships during um, the regional of ASEAN. This is my team of INLE ASEAN. Um, we have firstly, uh, Many friends, Vida, yes, from the Philippines here. Are Vida here in the meeting? Okay, the INLE ASEAN from the first convening meeting um, occurred at the Malaysia and the second in Singapore and the third in Vietnam. This is a great opportunity for me and my colleague to visit the Malaysia, Singapore, and Vietnam to uh, visit the, the library in that country too. I have the photo that during I attend the INLE ASEAN, this is the opening ceremony uh, in 2015 in Puman Hotel in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is the INLE ASEAN innovator from Thailand. That is uh, Linda. Uh, Mr. Pasiti Chai and me joined that on that uh, on that time. Okay, and this is the photo of the uh, National Library of the Indonesia, the new building that I visit in two thousand seventeen with the um, Ineli friends again. This is uh, during the program that I work with my, my colleagues. Um, we have a lot of workshop and a lot of uh, the meeting and we have a project to, uh, to do it together. Okay, that, and this is the, it's like a more friends everywhere in ASEAN. Miss Nian Lek Cho, she attend the, the INLE ASEAN sometimes too. Yes, this is my friend. Yes, as you can see. Okay, this is the web portal that we um, we organized during INLE ASEAN. In my team, Team 4, we create the website of Gateway Library, Gateway to Public Library in ASEAN. This is the web, uh, web portal. You can access to the website and um, the website link to the National Library in ASEAN or the Public Library in ASEAN. This is still online. Okay, after that, I attend to Applin in 2017. This is the, the first meeting in um, 
2007 at the National Library of the Indonesia. And 2019, um, National Library of Thailand and National Library of the Philippines cooperate, organized the co-host of the second convening of NEFLI. Um, at that time, we organized the welcome dinner, the meeting, and the library visit in, in Bangkok. So many people here enjoy, and I think they still continue with uh, friendship on the Facebook too. This is the library visit at the National Museum at the Bangkok Metropolitan, uh, Bangkok City Library. And someday we have workshop together. Okay, and the end of the, the meeting and the conference, we received the certificate also. This is the cooperation between the director of National Library of Thailand and National Library of the Philippines and the team of the National Library of the Philippines. Okay. Uh, this is the one of the cooperation during we are in Ainanli ASEAN. The National Library of Thailand invited the innovators from the Island Lee ASEAN to the National Library of Thailand conference for three years. First, uh, we invite Mr. Iharmni Ali from the National Library of the Indonesia. He is the keynote speaker in the meeting room too, right now, I think. And in 2018, we invite Ms. Uh, Lynette Kang from the Public Library of Oshad, National Library Board of Singapore to Thailand for our keynote too. And 2019, we invite uh, Mr. Mohamed Fasli from Selangor Public Library Corporation for our speaker too. He is very nice. And this is the project that... Um, in ASEAN, this is an it's quite new project in ASEAN that I attend. We call the ASEAN Cultural Heritage Digital Archive. We we call the short short name is ASHDA. Uh, this project of ASHDA implemented by the ASEAN Secretariat and supported by Japan ASEAN Integration Fund or JIVE. The main pro objective of the project is to rise. ASEAN awareness and ASEAN identity through supporting the AMS uh, effort in the digital of their cultural heritage collections and promote public access to the digitized archive. Uh, the first phase, uh, we start from Indonesia, Thailand, and Malaysia that participate at the first phase. Um, at the partnership of this project, the Ministry of Culture, the Fine Art Department, and we select a collection, cultural heritage collection of the National Library of Thailand. This is the collection that we uh, we could select to, to attend for the project, uh, include the manuscript cabinet for 14 items uh, and Thai traditional book for 50 items. The digitization is conducted by the NTT Data Corporation Japan. And this, uh, this project still uh, waiting for the good situation after COVID pandemic, because in phase two, we will continue with the Philippines, maybe, or Cambodia or Myanmar or Vietnam, that will continue um, digitization, the cultural heritage. And the website, if you uh, if you interest to access to see the cultural heritage from from the National Library of Thailand, National Library of Indonesia, and maybe Malaysia attend with the National Museum. You can access to this um, website. Okay, I think to the end of my presentation, my presentation is like a sharing experience. And I hope that the library portal um, is the key of success of the regional cooperation and create a big family of the librarian and also advocate the librarians and users 
for the lifelong learning. Okay, thank you very much for attention to my presentation. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. Mu yeah, thank you so much, Punpa. Okay, so uh, that was a very good uh, sharing of experiences from the, from Punapa, from Thailand. And also, it's nice to see pictures of the Aineli ASEAN team. Oh, yes. I remember, we, we don't have a picture together, Punpa. <laughs> yes, because you are very busy every oh. time. <laughs> I'm so sorry, we didn't have an opportunity to take pictures during the time, but it was a wonderful experience for all of us. Yeah, the Aineli ASEAN, and we have very good memories. In yes. fact, I can see Masli like uh, <laughs> clapping, virtually clapping, <laughs> and also Nariza virtually clapping. Okay, yes. so probably uh, are there any questions for Punapa? I saw Miss Irene Heron from Philippines. You are raising your hand, Irene. Am I right? You want to ask question? Yeah, Irene Heron is raising her hand. Okay. Or maybe it was just an accident that she hit the button of Ray's hand. Maybe are there other comments? Uh, okay, there is one comment here, Punapa, from Cesar yes. Falcolan. It seems like the national government of Thailand is very much supportive of their library operations. What incentives do the government give to performing libraries and librarians? Do you have incentives given no. by the government of Thailand? None? No incentive? <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Just Selali. <laughs> Just, uh, what's that? Selali? Uh, but I think the that you can see many, many projects that is mm -hmm. the budgeting under the project already. Okay. Yes, we, we create the portal, we create the e resources under the budget and under the project again. But the incentive, we, we didn't receive that. Oh, I see. But you are all, you are all Good just idea. Very, good idea. <laughs> you are yeah. all just very hardworking librarians in Thailand. Yes, work with okay. heart, with service mind. Yeah, all right. Oh, uh, Punipa, there's a question from Asli here. What is the continuation of the library portal gateway? Do you have a continuation or a sustainability plan for the library portal? Asli, how Asli. are you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's... Uh, I, I didn't continue because we need the information to input our um, gateway website, but... Mm -hmm. If you can help to continue with me, it's very <laughs> great to collaborate together with Masli. Okay, under the Applin, I think it's mm -hmm. much be better. You can continue. But frankly, that um, after I nearly, I didn't input any information, but you can access right now. The link still operate and still online just for the link to each library. It's like a portal. Yes. Okay. And as Lee also mentioned, we will discuss this in Applin Executive Board. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mr. Then... President, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you are the secretary, if I'm not, or vice president, <laughs> vice president, if I'm not mistaken, Punpa. Yeah, I think yes. so. But I, I think we have to discuss with Masli later on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. O Punapa is the vice president, Masli said. Okay. Thank, thank you. you so much. Um, Are there any opportunities for Punapa? Probably there are librarians uh, in the Philippines or in other parts of Southeast Asia who would like to collaborate with the Library of Thailand. How, how can they do that? Um, are you open for uh, like collaboration or any activities or probably exchange of professionals? I or think like, mm -hmm. you 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 can like uh, create the project and propose the project to the National Library of Thailand to maybe discuss with the objective and what it look like. I think the workshop is. I enjoy the workshop from the Philippines every time. I think the workshop. <laughs> 
yeah, the workshop style from the Philippines make us uh, enjoy and mm-hmm. learning about relationship and librarianship too. Mm. Ah, okay. There. Who want, who want to uh, create a new project? Maybe discuss with me first before okay. create. <laughs> All right. So probably, oh, can am I right? Uh, I assume that if every day have a project or a program, they would like to uh, co partner with the Thailand Library. They need to present to you the proposal first. Yes. Okay. But no, no, no. I mean, for the National Library of ah, Thailand, okay. mm-hmm. official, you you just propose the the project to the director, director of National Library of Thailand. If interesting, we we will discuss. But but uh, the librarian in in the Philippines, if you're looking for the public library for each other corporation, you can contact um, that I I present in my presentation. The Ministry of Education public library are under that. So many organizations for public library. If the librarian from the Philippines interest to cooperate with the public librarian together, you can contact that organization. But for me, for um, National Library, we welcome to to join together. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Punapa. And to our participants, if you have other questions for Punapa, you can just type in your questions in our chat box or direct the question to Punapa herself. Thank okay, you. So uh, Punapa can uh, reply to your queries. Okay, so at this point, let us award our Certificate of Appreciation to Punapa. The certificate reads, National Library of the Philippines in partnership with ASEAN Public Libraries Information Network and in collaboration with Philippine Librarians Association Incorporated, uh, Librarians Association of Malaysia and the Asia Foundation, Present the Certificate of Appreciation to Punapa Suksakorn for being our resource speaker in the first ASEAN Virtual Regional Conference of Public Librarians given this 24th day of August 2021 via Zoom, signed by the Director of the National Library of the Philippines, Cesar Gilbert Adriano, and the President of Aplin Juan Masli Bin Juan Razali. So... We are giving you your certificate, Punapa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, bye. All right, and at this point, let us hear from our bronze sponsor. We have Delta Multimedia Incorporated. Uh, Let's watch the presentation.
Okay, thank you so much, Felta, our sponsor. And now for our final plenary session this afternoon, we are happy that the Richelle is back. <laughs> okay, I hope with better uh, audio. Okay, to everyone, um, before before the presentation of Richelle, there might probably be some participants who would like to transfer meeting rooms. Again, you can do so by clicking on the breakout room button at the lower right part of the Zoom and just click on the meeting room that you would like to join in, okay? So uh, this is meeting room number three, and we have our parallel speaker number three to talk about service quality of public libraries as determinant of the satisfaction of users' information needs. We have, once again, Richelle Pahara. Hello, good afternoon. So am I clear now? Yes, very wow. clear, Michelle. <laughs> Congratulations to me. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. Thank you. So I will now share screen. Okay. Share. Okay, thank you very much again, uh, Ms. Rhea, and good afternoon, everyone. So I am very honored to be one of the resource speakers in this prestigious conference. So my topic is entitled Service Quality of Public Libraries as Determinant of the Satisfaction of Users' Information Needs. So this was my graduate research for my master's degree, and this study was conducted to provide information that can be used as basis for identifying interventions that will further enhance the service quality of the public libraries, specifically in Misamis Oriental. But before I discuss further, allow me to present to you a brief uh, information about Misamis Oriental. So Misamis Oriental has a total land area of 3,515.70 square kilometers. It is the third largest province in Region 10. Uh, it is composed of 23 municipalities, one highly urbanized city, two component cities, and 504 barangays. So the provincial government of Misamis Oriental is currently headed by Governor Yevgeny Vincente Bambi Imano. So he has dream for tourism of the province that is anchored by the eight pillars of transparency. So the eight pillars are the environment, infrastructure, agriculture, health, transportation, cooperative, peace and order, and lastly, the education. So the Misamis Oriental Provincial Library is under the pillar of education. So before the pandemic, um, we have a lot of activities. One of it is the summer class program for children and also the Historia Hanay Sa Parque, where we distributed gifts and snacks to children after the storytelling session. So now that we have the COVID-19 pandemic, we still have activities via online. So we conducted online contests such as storytelling contests and digital poster making contests. So despite of the pandemic, we still visited other public libraries in Misamis Oriental. Aside from the ocular visit, um, we bring books and useful uh, library materials for the library. Example, face masks, alcohol, and hygiene kits. So without the support of the governor, we will not achieve our accomplishment. And we are very thankful also to our governor for issuing brand new vehicle for the library's official use. So through it, we will be able to deliver more library services to our people. So that's all for a little background about our library and the province of Misamis Oriental. So going back to the topic, the service quality of public libraries as determinant of the satisfaction of the user's information needs. So for the introduction, so quality service rendered to all library users 
is among the core values of librarianship. So it covers the conduciveness of the physical environment, the accessibility of materials, the adequacy of collections and technologies, and the approachability of the librarians. So talking about public library, uh, it provides unrestricted access to library resources and services free of charge to all the residents of its community. So public library has a broader mandate than the academic and special library. So for the condition of the public library, the researcher observed that public libraries need more support to improve its condition because the poor condition of many public libraries can be the reason why librarians do not engage in quality assessment. And feedback um, is very important, um, especially on user satisfaction with the library services. So the feedback will may point to areas of services that require the enhancement of the library. So as a librarian, um, the researcher desires for the improvement of the general condition of the public libraries. So I think you are familiar with TQM, the total quality management. So the study, assum uh, the assumption of this study is anchored on the principle of TQM. So it is built on the understanding that organizations are systems with processes designed to serve customers. And for the customer satisfaction, the organization, it is the organization's highest priority and the organization can be successful only if the customers are satisfied, right? So it is the starting point for library services to meet the user's expectations and to improve all aspects of library services. So through the customer satisfaction. So in my study, I have here the library quality service. So I have three domains, the physical domain, the interpersonal domain, and the collection domain. So the physical domain refers to a public library's interior spaces, facilities, and equipment, or the total physical environment of the library. So libraries design should be reflect the functions of the library. And for the interpersonal domain, it refers to the librarians or the library staff extent of assisting, assisting users voluntarily, voluntarily or asked in their information search. So it relates to the interaction of the library staff with the library user. And for the collection domain, it refers to the library materials that are available in public library. So the collection can attract new library users and influence continue as existing users. It is not the size of the collection that is important, but it is how relevant the materials are to the needs of the local, local community. So I also have here the information needs um, satisfaction. So it is the academic information needs and the non-academic information needs. So the academic information needs um, refers to the information needs that pertains to the user's academic requirements that include the research, the subject assignments, and for the non-academic information needs refers to the user's information needs pertaining to leisure, entertainment, and personal development. So for example, uh, reading newspaper, um, borrowing um, tapes like that. And so this is my schematic presentation of my study. So my, um, my IV or the independent, independent variable is the library quality service. So under it is the physical domain, the interpersonal domain, and the collection domain. And for my other side is the information needs satisfaction, the academic information needs, and the non-academic information needs. 
So I also have the characteristic of library users, considering the age, the working status, and the educational level of the library users. So my research method, research design is descriptive correlational research design. And then for the research participants and sampling, so um, it's the public libraries in Misamis Oriental. So there are 15 public libraries. I visited them during my research study. And I'm using the non, I use the non-probability sampling during my research study. And then for the research instrument, I used a survey questionnaire. And for the validity and reliability of the instruments, it's the Cronbach's coefficient correlation were used to the statistical establish the re reliability of the questionnaire. Okay, so what is the significance of the study? Um, first is the local government units. So the findings of the study may heighten the situation of each public library and provide valuable data information needed to enhance the service quality of public libraries. Um, I believe that the local government unit is, um, is a big impact in a public library because without the support of the public library, um, I don't know if the public library can sustain its services and programs. And secondly is for the National Library of the Philippines. So the findings of this study may help uh, NLP decide on how to better provide technical supervision, allocation of library materials, and capacity building programs to the public libraries. And third is for the community. So it may provide public with better perspective of the, of the rule of the public libraries within the community they serve. And for library users, so the findings of this study may help public libraries improve the quality of their services with may rebound to users' satisfaction. And it is also significant for the library personnel. So the findings of the study will provide an overall picture of the current state of public libraries and allow the librarians and library staff to design programs accordingly. And lastly, for the researchers, where the findings of the study can be used for future studies of the public library system in the Philippines. And to summarize the findings, so the service of the public libraries were rated as good by the users in terms of the physical domain, very good in terms of the interpersonal domain, and good in terms of the collection domain. And the user's academic and non-academic information needs were moderately satisfied. And the users differed significantly in their assessment ratings of the service quality of the public libraries where their age, work status, and educational level were considered. The, ser the service quality of the public libraries was significantly associated with the satisfaction of the user's academic and non-academic needs. And the physical and collection domain were strong predictors of the satisfaction of user's academic needs, while the physical, interpersonal, and collection domains were all strong predictors for the satisfaction of user's non-academic information needs. So for the conclusion, um, service quality of public libraries can be best de determined by how the services satisfy the academic and non-academic information needs of the users. Based on the users' assessment ratings, it can be concluded that the public libraries in Misamis Oriental deliver quality library services. So that's the satisfaction of users' academic and non-academic information needs validate such conclusion. And more specifically, findings of this study identified areas of library services that have to be enhanced to satisfy fully the academic and non-academic information needs of their users. Special attention should be given 
to the collections and physical environment of our public libraries and the improvement of the service quality of the public libraries requires full support to the local government, government units and concerned government bodies. I think that's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Richelle. Okay, that's a wonderful presentation on service quality, measuring service quality of public libraries. Okay, I'm glad that we can hear you better now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, the floor is now open for your question. So anyone who would like to ask Richelle questions, you may do so by unmuting yourself so you can ask Richelle directly, or you can just type in your questions in our chat box. So uh, feel free to ask Richelle. Um, just like our first presentation a while ago, Richelle, probably there are some librarians who would like to use the instrument that you used in your study. How can they do that? Uh, yes, I can uh -huh. share the instrument that I used. They can uh, contact me. Uh, maybe I'll just give my I know, contact details. Okay, so if you want to measure also the service quality of your public library, uh, Michelle can share the instrument that she used so you can administer it as well in your own library. Dr. Hamza Faisal a while ago, um, the setting, the instrument that he used was for academic libraries. Mm -hmm. So this time for Michelle, it's uh, for public libraries. So measuring service quality. Okay, are there... Other questions? Okay, when you were presenting a while ago, um, you're so fortunate that your local government is so supportive yes. of the library. And they even gave the library its own vehicle for official yes. use. <laughs> yes, Miss Ray. So How we were able that? to... Uh... I mean, what... what what were your like what was the relationship that you have uh, what were the activities that you've done to make sure that you have good relationships with your local government um actually um for me as a librarian and a public librarian we need to show to the government that public library exists uh because sometimes I really hurt when people say, I oh, library, okay. So I think it's not boom to them. But um, in our situation here in Misamis Oriental Provincial Library, what we did is we participate uh, every time a national activity such as National Book Week, the Public Library Day, so that people will see that there is an activity for the libraries. Ah, okay, there's an activity that's about library like that. So that's the time the governor uh, saw that library is very important to the community. So I think that's the reason why we are active um, in, in participating activities. And he saw that we are very active and determined and we serve the people. You know, we're not only limited inside the library, but we go out. We go to the far-flung areas. We visited them, conduct some storytelling and give some uh, anything like that. Okay, so Michelle, during this pandemic, uh, what's the... Is your library open or how do you do it? Working from home? What are your services? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, uh, we're still open, but with a limited um, clients, we, mm -hmm. we can only cater, I think, around eight people only in the, in the library. And we also have uh, computer services. So we have a customer, a student, college student, who go to online classes. So we cater them also. And you no, know, the pandemic is very challenging, but there are some um, ways on how we can have some innovations. And I'm also thankful with the National Library of the Philippines because through them, they were able to help us what ideas on how we can serve the people. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rochelle. Are there other questions for Rochelle? No, regarding their public library or their services. 
or uh, the instrument that we shall use to measure service quality. Okay, no more questions. Wait, let me just check if there are participants who are raising their hand. Okay. Okay, in your own opinion, there's a question here, Rachelle, from John Vincent Galvez. In your own opinion, public should public libraries conform to ISO? Um, Probably, I, yes. Specifically, yeah. I think quality management system. Yeah. Yeah, I think yes. But as of now, um, we cannot uh ano pa into ISO. That's a little difficult yet. <laughs> So, but yes, I can, in my own opinion. Okay. So you should apply for uh, yes. certification bodies, no? yes. specifically quality management system, probably. Okay. Uh, thank you. I'm just reading the comments from Mam Fe Abelardo. Thank you very much, Hi. Michelle, for that very wonderful presentation about the Misamis Provincial Library. Thank you, Mam Fe. Actually, Mam Fe visited our library. Mm -hmm. Mom Fe Abelardo. Okay, all right. So Mom Fe visited the uh, visited your library. Yes, it's very good. Okay, all right. So um, I think we are there. Other questions? All right. Okay. No more questions. I think we will finish early here in meeting room number three, but. Uh, I'll just make some announcements later. So at this point, um, we would like to give Richelle or award Richelle our Certificate of Appreciation. Okay, the certificate reads, National Library of the Philippines in partnership with ASEAN Public Libraries and Information Network and in collaboration with the Philippine Librarians Association Incorporated, Librarians Association of Malaysia and the Asia Foundation, present this Certificate of Appreciation to Richelle Pahara for being one of the, for being a resource speaker in the first uh -huh. ASEAN Virtual Regional Conference right. of Public Libraries, given this 24th day of August 2021 via Zoom, signed by the Director of the National Library of the Philippines, Cesar Gilbert Adriano, and the President of APLIN, Juan Masli Bin Juan Razali. Okay, so we are awarding you your certificate, Richelle. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much also, Richelle. So um, before we formally end, um, I'll give announcements later, but uh, we would like to hear from our bronze sponsor, Airbooks Corporation. Yeah, let's, let's watch their presentation. Britannica School provides interactive tools for both teachers and students that allow for creating, saving, and sharing. The new features increase student engagement through enhancements that make accessing accurate, relevant content easier and more engaging than ever before. The streamlined homepage allows you to easily choose your learning level. Britannica Academic has continued to evolve with technology and the needs of academic libraries around the globe. Always up to date and factually correct, features include insightful encyclopedia articles, EBSCO journals and periodicals, primary sources and ebooks, World Data Analyst, Merriam Webster's Collegiate Dictionary and Thesaurus, The Year in Review, and other research tools that provide a variety of reliable sources students need to consult when conducting thorough research. Britannica Library has been created specifically for public libraries to help meet any visitor's research needs. Straight from the homepage, users can search age-appropriate levels and interact with the very best material for kids, adults or curious minds. Explore relevant and regularly updated content, including curated articles, magazines, images, videos, primary sources, and certified websites. Britannica Library also provides content for interdisciplinary research. And discover the world around them with country research and compare tools. 
Britannica Library supports accessibility tools. Accessible on all devices, Britannica Library is the one resource that everyone can use. And everyone can trust. Okay, thank you so much to our bronze sponsor, Airbooks Corporation. Okay, so I think we have finished our sessions, all sessions here at plenary session number three. Um, as instructed, since the other meeting rooms are not yet done with our plenary session, you may go back to all our participants here. You may go back to the main session or you can just choose from the breakout room here on the lower part, lower right-hand part of Zoom. You choose a breakout room if you want to join either room one or room two, since they are still having their own session. So you might probably want to listen to the other sessions in those breakout rooms. So feel free to join them because we we, we finished early. We finished early in uh, this particular breakout room. Just a few reminders. Uh, do not forget also to fill out the attendance sheet. Again, uh, we have one attendance sheet in the morning and one attendance sheet in the afternoon. And then don't forget as well to fill out the evaluation form. We have two evaluation form, one from NLP, National Library of the Philippines, and one from NCCA. So don't forget to fill them out. Uh, we have a raffle also, and for you to qualify in the raffle, you must, of course, be present in all the sessions. So we will validate your attendance and the attendance sheet for you to win. Okay, so um, thank you all for attending the parallel session here in meeting room number three. You may all now go back to the main room or... Just join a particular breakout room, either breakout rooms one and two, since they're not yet finished. Uh, just click the breakout room button on the lower right hand here in Zoom. Okay? So thank you, everyone. Bye. Feel free to join the other breakout rooms. Thank you to all our participants here. Recording stopped.